Hello, beautiful human. Thanks for letting us into your ears today. You're about to meet Chase Atlantic. I'm so excited. Three guys from Australia making music, even a new album, plus a bunch of other albums and EPs to dive into. But their latest release is Beauty and Death. Highly recommend. And uh, yeah, they have a brand new song out with Maggie Lindemann too. Lots to get to. Very excited. Please share this podcast with those you care about. Hit subscribe. And that's it. Chase Atlantic. Here we go. Hi, beautiful human. My name is Zach. Dan is wandering around, and we welcome Chase Atlantic to the studio. Hey. Yo, what Yo. up? Hey. Thank you for having us. We, we made it. Ooh, are we on, Dan? I think so. <laughs> There's a red light. <laughs> okay, yeah. Does red light mean go, go or green light means go? Uh, in this room, oh. red is the only color we got because we're cheap on bulbs, That's and green good. is more expensive. Oh, that's a surprise. You guys seem to have lots of bulbs and different <laughs> yeah, colors. Yeah. You, could take, you could mix the blue with the... You Actually, just take the desk. Game. Yeah, the desk. <laughs> yeah, is it, by the way, nice teeth. Thank oh yeah, you. thank you. That's really something. Thank yeah. you. What like what happens in your life where you're like, I need to bejewel my teeth? Uh, my girlfriend actually made me do it. Really? Well, she was gonna do it, and I was like, I got FOMO, and I was like, Yeah, I'll do it too. <laughs> too much candy. And they're like, <laughs> tooth fell out. Yeah, they both they're both gone. Really? No, 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 no. no, no. no. Uh, we, we, but still too much candy. <laughs> we're very sarcastic, and it seems like we're serious as well. <laughs> still too much candy, though. Absolutely. No, I don't even eat. I have it all sitting next to my bed. Don't I just watched you eat a lollipop. I didn't. I grabbed it. See, I'm, I'm, I'm a candy hoarder. I haven't even eaten it. Yeah, yeah, too. By the way, that's a real problem for people who overeat, myself included. Like, there's an impulse in just buying the food or I, holding yeah, but it I close. Do, I don't. Ha I don't eat it anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. But you want it near. Yeah, I just want it in case I want some candy. We'll get back to your teeth, but what kind of candy do you like? Um, mainly like ones that that like, yeah. have, that like are covered in sugar and they're like soft. Oh, sour. Like like oh, like like, like um, a sour patch kid? like sour patch kids, yeah. but like. Like clouds and um, yeah. I, I eat those until my mouth bleed. Oh, yeah. It, yeah they, they, it, it truly, it, it like it like burns the top of your mouth. Best for it, health. It, best for health. Is it? That, that's that's what I hear. It ha it's pretty like aggressive if you eat a lot of them. Truth. It's aggressive on your mouth. What's what the name of those long ones? Like the long kind of licorice -y ones? Oh, the, the nerd ones ropes? You like, right? I like nerd, yeah, nerd yeah, ropes yeah. are really good as well. No, oh, wait, did, so you're talking about like a, a nerd rope is gooey wrapped in nerds. Yeah. You're yeah. talking about like a sour belt. Whatever. Yeah. I'm oh, talking yeah, about the, I'm oh, the, about karate, the, belt. the karate belts. That's yeah, crazy I'm, that I you knew both belts. of those. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. straight, <laughs> straight away. Yeah. I am a big candy guy. Yeah. I enjoy candy with my friends. Like that's the one thing we indulge in on the weekends, mainly sour candies. So... They're, well, it's a rush. It's a real big rush. It is a rush, baby. <laughs> what about? Have you ever had uh, warheads? Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh my god. In, I in got like a, primary I, school. You, yeah. You'd be the like the little warheads. Like, oh yeah, I got yeah. some warheads. Yeah. <laughs> you had like, warheads. And you were want in, some. Hey, you can't ask for too many. Yeah. You know. But what I mean? you were a gnarly guy, and yeah. you were somebody who liked to be in charge. And, yeah. And and really, like a warhead can control the the, the table. Exactly. At lunch. If you got warheads, everyone's like, yo, want to hang out at lunchtime? I heard you got them warheads. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> We have a lot to discuss here because uh, Chase Atlantic, y y you have a pretty deep history. You've released a bunch of music recently. You have an album out as of 2021. Um, I mean, you have a bunch of albums. You have a bunch of EPs. Yeah, bunch of, bunch of. I, I mean, I... I think the catalog's like in the 100 songs that we've done now. Really? Yeah. Almost 100 songs? I think so. Wow. Sheesh. And tiger, tiger. <laughs> maybe, maybe less. I could be <laughs> Does that freak you out when you hear 100 songs in your catalog? Which, um, it's just maybe. kind of weird if someone was to like, yeah. say, write 100 songs, you know, from the get-go. It's, 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 like, it's a yeah, lot. You, it's we were a talking little... about it in the car. How it's... I could be lying. Like, like we've written yeah. so many more, but like we've released uh, like maybe 100, which is crazy. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like just writing them is fine, but them actually releasing, like meaning they're all like good enough. That's a hard expectation to meet if you were to set it for yourself. Do you set, like, is there a threshold that you have set for, like, a song being good enough? Like, like a set of criteria that you know? It's just guts. It's just gut feeling, intuition. Really? Yeah. We're just like, we, I, there's no real criteria. It's like, we feel, we were like, that. this is a good song, right? And then we're like, yeah, it's like, all right, cool. It's also, three. you know, with the beauty of having three of us is there's three of us, like, we're in on this song. So we all like this song. Or it could be, and something that we always do which i really appreciate is the instrumentals themselves always have to kind of be a song by itself like yeah. without vocals so that's if we decide on that we like an instrumental the song usually ends up being really cool anyway does a, a song for you guys start as an instrumental yeah, yeah. A, a fully like a basically almost like a fully completed instrumental yeah. that could like stand its own um, really even yeah. like we'll add guitars before we start singing on it uh, stuff mm -hmm. so sometimes usually we'll, we'll take it like to like uh 
uh, what would you call it? Composition? Like, uh-huh. take it section yeah. out, like, where necessary. But vocals, like, pretty much lost. Yeah. And then we mix it. Yeah, actually, maybe. Yeah. yeah. 50, 50, I reckon. But even yeah. writing the lyrics, you won't write a lyric until you know what it's going to go over. Mm-mm. Sometimes we just go in them freestyle. We got a few songs that are actually freestyle. Freestyles, yeah. Yeah. So do you just jam together or do you have ideas for things? It's like a modern day jam. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, so we know we're all producers, so we'll go in there. Someone, you know, even if you go past someone's room and you just hear a song you like and you just kind of sit behind, behind, either ha- have an input. <laughs> So you well, creep up behind, behind him the and door. <laughs> hey, hide hey, behind hey, the door. Hey. Hey. He's making some terrible mistakes in there. No, it's you oh. just hear it all. Like I'll send a text. I can hear Mitchell making uh, like one, two nights ago. I just sent a text and I was like, "That's a really cool one." And yeah, he'll invite me into the room. You That's listen good. to it and it's got good stuff. Like yeah, good energy. Wait. Keeps the keeps the process alive. The create the creative juices flow. Did you always make music that way? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> usually. I, I I mean, I think the very beginning days, it was all just sat down. Oh, no, because Mitchell was still doing production during yeah. the Dalliance days. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I guess, yeah. Hey, we set, we seem very unsure. We're actually, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a Milli Vanilli thing. Like, it's not, we don't do it. We don't do anything else. You guys are just the faces. Yeah. 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 There's so many people working for us. <laughs> but juice is right there. Right? <laughs> What's the ah. Well, it's weird. Uh, you know, when I was doing, I, I've done a bunch of research, listen to you guys a bunch. You have like programmer as one of your like song titles or something when you look up all the credits, both on Genius and Wikipedia. I didn't know why. I, didn't, I thought that was kind of weird because I had never really seen somebody be titled a pro- programmer. Programmer. I guess, like, I guess programming is like pr- producing. producing. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Why, why can't you write lyrics until the production's done? Uh, but uh, that's the, like like Christian was saying. The whole thing is that we want the instrumental to be. I mean, you can like on the fly, but like we don't like finalize them until the instrumental is like fully complete. Because yeah, it's it's the instrumental that gives you the emotion stand, of what. Be, yeah. yeah, that's the instrumental that makes you decide what you want to write about. Kind yeah. of. It's like if you would write with a guitar piano, and you get the chord progression first. Yeah, and then you write over it. But we don't do that. We, we yeah. make a whole beat that we could like. Yeah. You can make like a instrumental. But the chord progression will be in there. So yeah. So like, are you? Do you already have Album. the saxophone uh, solo solidified in no, certain songs? No, that's like the last thing after. actually. That that's would like be the, the very last thing. Last thing. Yeah. Really? It's true. We had the saxophone yeah. last. Because then that's also you know you decide whether the song needs guitar, whether it needs yeah. a real bass, whether it needs saxophone. Because there's songs that just that guitar and saxophone just wouldn't gel with and yeah. the instrumentals stand so well by themselves. And you find like the little spaces that you can mm-hmm. you can fit it in. But if you watch us live, it's very different. Yeah. Like we fit all the instruments obviously. Into yeah, we have to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you arrange the songs with live instruments as opposed to yeah. using a computer or a board yeah. or, so or something. We'll, we'll, we'll have both. tracks in the background yeah. but we'll, we'll remove some sections, you know what I mean? Like and then the sections that we can play live that we don't um, necessarily need in the tracks. So do you think a song of yours is popular because of the instrumentals or is it because of the lyrical content? That's the thing. I think um, I was actually having a conversation. I can't remember who it was. It was with one of these. Um, <laughs> uh, the whole thing is that like the, in- the, th- the thing that people pay attention to when they first hear a song is obviously the lyrics and, and, and the singing, if there's lyrics and singing. Um, but we like to pay attention to detail for the instrumental, like add s- things that could subconsciously kind of trigger people to be more engaged with the song or, or feel like there's more depth to the song or more emotion. Yeah. Or constantly, I notice that something that Mitch has been doing in the last two albums is the song is constantly evolving throughout the whole song. Yeah, so, so even loops, like yeah. at the end of Umami, I mean, Umami goes on such a journey and then by the time you finished it, it's a completely different song. So you're like, i got to run that back. Yeah. i could have run it back because yeah. I don't remember how Our it started. Next singles like that. There's the next singles cues, like there's that There's little too. cues and stuff like within yeah. the instrument. That's what we're saying when we build the instrumental first. Like we really give it our all. And then we have to like kind of dial it back a bit if it's too intense, yeah. because otherwise we won't be able to fit vocals on it. So in, in umami or omami, yeah. what, it's O H. It's hard to pronounce. Honestly, we just think U- of like o- umami o- as in like as in like U M A M I. You know what I mean? Like umami burger, yeah, yeah. umami like, sauce umami. or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah, how you yeah, pronounce yeah. it. Like, umami. 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 Yeah. Okay. I I saying umami is weird to say for me. Yeah, I'm like, oh, mam- oh, mommy. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, though. Whatever's easiest for you um, guys. Because in, in, the, in the song, it's like, oh, mommy. But then we added a H because it's hard to write, ooh, like, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to have the H. <laughs> Your high pitch version of that was so much better than the, yeah, d- the deep oh, one. Oh, mommy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> doesn't hit the same Creep as the out. top one. Uh, uh, if, if, you, if, you, if you say, hey, Alexa, play umami. Yeah, she's like, play. It doesn't work. You have to go O H M A. Yeah, no, you can, no, you can, it works. Oh, mommy, you can say it. It works, but she she says now playing 
O H M A M I by Chase uh, Long. Is okay. this an accent difference that like contributes to oh, the dude, pronunciation? I, say, I have a yeah. nightmare with Alexa. She does not understand me <laughs> ever. <laughs> I'm like just it. sitting there screaming. We're like, not on the same page. <laughs> Dave Verdansk. <laughs> she just can't. She's like Verdansk. Verdansk. She I'll just doesn't. I'll she has got no room. idea what I'm I'll saying. Play some Never. Rave. I have some real issues with Alexa sometimes. <laughs> They're going to do some problems. Right <laughs> and we can't even type. Like it's like you can't type in what you want to do because it's just no. you know what I mean. Yeah. Like oh, what else can I do now? <laughs> you just give up. Yep. You, yeah. You move on. Uh, she won. Find yeah. loopholes. <laughs> you have to say play Chase Atlantic and then just say next. Next. next yeah. <laughs> play Dave and then next. I'll play the album and yeah. then you skip until yeah. I I want to keep going with the 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 music is obviously Maggie Linderman. Linderman. Yeah. You always add a name. Even when Maggie's in here, you call her Linderman. I'm so sorry. You're such a nice person. I'm really the worst person. You're looking person. down lens? Oh, yeah. oh, it's down a Maggie. Lens right it's to the R. Yeah, yeah he, it's someone a will post this, and she'll see it on Instagram yeah. or something, and I'll just and just add it to the archives of me, somebody's name. <laughs> She's really Is cool. it because you're adding the R to it? Yeah, Linderman, but it's Lindeman. 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 She told me she prefers Linda Man. Like okay. With Linda. Linda and then with, a, with, a, with a space? <laughs> Linda. Take a breath. Man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Linda. Man. Maggie Linda. Man. Man. That's it. She's cool. So she's been on she's been on the show before? Oh yeah. I don't know. How many yeah, times? Yeah, she's been on two or three times now. Cool. Yeah, That's yeah, good. She's yeah. Here. She promoting the Paranoia EP? Yeah. That, was, that man. We, really we, good. we love some of those songs. That scissor hands as well, the production on that. Really good. Def like as people who love producing and when we produce ourselves yeah primarily like those yeah. kind of things we definitely pick up on so is that an organic want to have her on the song or how does she cross your mind how does that we, happen we wanted to have a female on the song just to like yeah give it some diversity because also like um when, when we're making the song we were even saying it, this would sound dope with a female voice yeah. on it and uh, never it never happened but um then we she posted the tiktok of her singing to us yes. and then that was pretty cool. We had, we had reached out about some other songs and maybe definitely mentioned, but just to see her do that on the TikTok, it was like, this is definitely Yeah, it was like right. solidified. That yeah. was like, this, she fully understands. She, she nailed it. Yeah, she got the assignment. Beautiful human, I'm hitting pause real quick. It's a little known fact that even on a day that you don't think is very hot, a child left in a car can die of heat stroke very quickly. That's why leaving a child in a car is so dangerous. Sadly, in 2020, 24 children died of pediatric vehicular heat stroke, and many of those incidences occurred when a parent or a caregiver simply forgot that their child was in the car. This is especially true when having the child with them is not a part of their normal routine. Other times, a parent or a caregiver has to do a quick errand, like run to a store or a post office, and rather than going through the hassle of taking their child out of the car seat, they lock the door, believing that they'll be back in no time and everything will be okay. Unfortunately, that isn't always the case. If you see a child in a hot car, do not be afraid to take action. If the child is unattended and you can't locate their parents, call 911. If the child looks unresponsive, do whatever it takes to get him or her out safely, including breaking the window. Your actions may save the life of a child. This message paid for by NHTSA. There is a community that has formed around you guys do you think this has been a community that's been around forever forever or is it re like kind of new i think if, if it's been around from the beginning but it's been growing more rapidly as of recent in yeah. the last year yeah but i definitely think that we've got a fan base that has been with like the ones who have been here from our first trips out to los angeles you know when we were like 17 they've still stayed with us the whole time which i think yeah is something that i don't really see with other people and other bands yeah. and stuff is they've grown up with us you know because we were this both of us were 17 when they were 17 listening to us and we were 17 so we've all grown up together and yeah the music has matured obviously and i think it's just just worked so well it's, but like, obviously, it's like the few yeah. artists that we you know what i mean yeah have, we've, have always we've we with. stuck with them yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you look at the demographics actually the stats <laughs> um i think our biggest market right now is 18 to 24 which fits in the age bracket of these guys yeah pretty much kind of i'm yeah. 24 I'm now yeah 24 now so. oh yeah you just you just turned 24 yeah. now you're in the 24 Welcome. it's a classic age classic. It's, a classic, so well, it's one of those classic it's nice to be ages. an even number again though. if you follow it like it's they're growing with us at the same, at the yeah. same yeah. pace pretty much no they, they actually they, some of them stopped growing <laughs> <laughs> they just, they, they see stop. now benjamin yeah. button will grow yeah. back yeah. It was, <laughs> and then there's it's, it really doesn't work out well for them it was because we that's we, sad we yeah. took such a big break away from australia like three years and to come back and see those ones who were there when we were, you know, 16, mm. 15. They're like, 
oh yeah, I finished college now. I'm, I'm like, married. In the music like, industry, it's like, oh yeah. my god, wow, congratulations. Well, you guys have a history in Australia. Like yeah. you, f- it's wrong to say that you formed originally for the X Factor, but you did make your way there in some shape or form. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yes. X-Factor yes. Is, is a funny, funny goof and a prank. It was a prank. It was a life lesson, and we wouldn't have met without it. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we we are grateful for it, but it's. It's sad. It, it <laughs> I, I, wasn't it, yeah. in it. I wasn't in it. Taught us a lot about what the music industry is not supposed to be like, yeah. in a way. Taught us and what not to do. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. But you, you, you scoff at it, but in a way that's like, you need that, right? Like, yeah, we, you, you we gotta learn. I mean, mm-hmm. I completely agree yeah, with that. We, we definitely have to learn, but um, it's definitely not like the highlights. It's not in the highlight reel, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's, of course. on my deathbed, it's not gonna yeah. be in the it highlight. Was, it we, was, we started yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, it wasn't X Factor. That was yeah. these two guys. Course, that, no, that's correct. Yeah. You were doing covers first, yes. but mm-hmm. and you, you were named Kids. Is that correct? Ah, dang it! For you like, know, to my kind like, imagination, you know, to my destructive God. situation. That's his idea. No, <laughs> you, you said you came up with the band. Name. That was your idea. I, yeah, I, actually, hey, we I actually was not around. <laughs> they they confirmed the band name, and I was not there. So yeah, so. we. We just, you know, we were going through a growing and we were, you know, oh, yeah. obviously had growing pains and uh, different little steps. Funny but curves. I think it was, it was having that kids and having that idea of like, we want to be a, <laughs> nothing but a pop band. We're going to make pop songs. And then when we decided, hey, let's actually make, music. let's make music That's that we mature, liked, yeah. that was meaningful and it was inspired by, at the time, bands like the 1975, the Neighborhood, the bands that really, you know, we saw and we were like, oh, we want to be like cool dudes. Yeah. So we because you grow and evolve as a human being, too. Exactly. 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 So when you were a kid, like... When we were kids, like, we, we were, were kids. kids. Yes. Like, yeah. yeah. So basically, like, we were making music at that point for... Because we thought we had to make this certain kind of music to appeal to yeah. this certain market because yeah. we've come we from... And of course, we'd just been on X Factor, which showed us, like... It was like all this this hype and all this like attention. It was it was uh, yeah. yeah. It was complete. It was, it, it was a complete pop was a world facade, that we were yeah. just thrown into. And it, then we realized that we were like, okay, we actually really like making music. Let's make music that we want to make, not just that we uh. You we feel, feel like, like we you have need to. to. Make. Yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah. And, and and obviously this is truly you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You have to note too that the fan base didn't really follow over from X Factor. Yeah. yeah. We kind of started from scratch again. We totally. went it's like, not like oh we got our big start and Yeah, I think yeah, at one point at one point like our high like I got like well Christian and I got like five thousand likes on Instagram. We're like, this is it, we did it. We, we did it. it. And, <laughs> then, <laughs> and then once it was, once it. the show was over and then once we like like Christian and I stuck together like the whole time yeah. after after the show was over because we were just like best friends, best you friends. know what I mean? Yeah, um, and we're the same age. The other guys were all finishing school. Mitch and I went back to school. Yeah, we, we finished X Factor. So we finished high school. Bro, like going back to high school. Yeah, after you'd get kicked off of a TV show, it was it's it's crazy. It and that's, make, like you yeah. had a full ego. I had a full ego death. Like and it, and it's you know it's high school is a rough enough place as it is. I went to a great school, but definitely coming back, I was, yeah, I was so insecure down, about it like, that it you just turned into like not a. I turned into not really the nicest yeah. person. And I also was, like because yeah. out of insecurity, you know. Yeah. Just been kicked off a show in front of two mm-hmm. million people and at mi- fifteen. Yeah. Hurts. It's rough. It's rough. Sh- shed a little tear. The, shed a the little tear. <laughs> yeah. Just the one. main thing Just is one. that, like, what I was saying with the five thousand likes is that we went back down to like I was I was getting like two hundred likes again. So you know what I mean that they didn't stick around. But like all of this, we had to start from square one, and it was like this is it. Because like, then there's well, the new, this is the truth. This is the truth now. By that time, there's the new season of the new X Factor. Exactly. You know? So then it's, it's out, fleeting. Shout out to the couple that did stick around though. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the two hundred. Respect. Respect, respect well, those two hundred. Well, what made you guys stick together then after the show? Friendship, like well, we, we're brothers. Were, so like, they didn't have a choice. Well, I know that. <laughs> <He> was, <laughs> where you come from? The show. They didn't have a choice. Like, like Christian, like he was, like we were best friends. Like we were, yeah. like, like soul buddies. We were, we just there was so much politics going on around afterwards that I didn't find out until I was like eighteen, and because Mitchell and I, I guess were so ignorant to it all, naive. I just naive. naive yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry, naive to it, and like not paying attention to all that, we gravitated together when everyone else was gravitating, gravitating, Gra- <laughs> gravitating. <laughs> when everyone else was graduating. <laughs> when everyone was gravitating apart, we just stuck together because we just liked to sing. And well, we, we kicked it off to, like, straight yeah, away. Absolutely. And um, Clinton was like the rogue person who'd come to some of the X Factors and like... Um, I got to witness the ugly end of it all. Yeah. Because yeah. his, his dad yeah. was actually like a mentor to me. Yeah. And he would explain Shout everything dad. to me and I'd be like, oh, okay, cool, cool. And then eventually, but you're learning as you move forward in this yeah. industry. And by the yeah. way, like since then, you have record deals. You come out yeah. of record deals. You're independent right now, yeah. and, um, as you speak. Yeah, just, just growing. As oh artists no, as well. we're, we're signed with Fearless. Are you, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. But you were. were you, I thought. Why did I read this morning that you were independent at a certain point? We're Absolutely. We we uh, don't try this. We did independently with Madden. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
We've done singles independently. Uh, we do everything independently, and but we do we are signed to Fearless. And they're a great partner. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. They're, Super they're, pro creative. Yeah. They, yeah. They give us full creative control. Thanks for the full creative control. Is there any other cameras? That's just those ones? <laughs> yeah. Just Thank those you, ones. Thank you. <laughs> but, I mean, you learn from, like, I mean, obviously, through his dad and from yeah. what you get to experience and all that kind of shit. Um, but at one point, do you realize that, like, pop punk, punk rock is where you want to go and what you want to do? Well, it's, it was weird because we um we transitioned out of that phase. Like at the beginning, we it was it was a hybrid. Like when we, we had like songs like Anchor Tattoo, um, <laughs> you are. and we had uh, what else did we have that was kind of like I that? guess, I guess like, Run Away kind of stuff. Yeah. Like we started because it it was actually I guess a thing in Australia at the time that was bands. All the bands around us were all doing that style. Yeah, you had Five Sauce as well. Oh yeah, they, they were like we're killing it doing pop punk, and then we. So, but even songs that are on that same EP that has the pop punk, we're doing songs like Gravity. That's full electronic production. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, what do you consider yourself? Because I gave you a genre and you scoffed at it. So oh yeah, yeah it's not like, pop punk. It's definitely no, no, not no, no, pop punk. No, no, no. Really? No, yeah. No. no, no so no. what do you what do you how, what do you call it? Pop punk pop. <laughs> <laughs> do you call it anything? Do you care to call uh, it anything? It's. it's I mean, I don't Give know. Give me your words. Uh, you have words know. for it. You guys really blend a lot of things together. Yeah, it's a lot of R&B. Someone said something like, like, I saw yesterday, like, neon hip-hop. psychedelic, and I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Neon psychedelic. Uh, hip-hop. Um, it's technically alternative pop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know I don't know if it has a, te- a technical, because we make so many different kinds of music. Well, yeah. And people we make ca- 80s music. We make, like... People you c- categorize you as rock in some articles yeah. I was yeah. reading. I mean, rock. if you go to live shows, it's yeah, completely rock. Yes, that's what I mean. The live shows are just a whole... It's a whole. Oh, it's, a hip, it's a hip hop rock show. Yeah, it's a hip. It's like two hip rock creative, <laughs> hip sorry, rock, energetic hip rock. shows in one. Hip rock. The poor sound guy's like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> What's up Turn with the symbols down. What these hi hats are going? Too many hi hats. <laughs> why do you have? Why are you doing hip hop show and a, a rock show at the same time? I can't mix this. Yeah, not being to the, the mix. I guess at one point we may have been pop punk, but we're not there anymore. We 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 we've, we've like evolved from yeah. from that genre. We just fell in love with hip hop and yeah. just like. Rhythm and blues, and, and then the create our own like little sound. The, those those drums, and then moving away from the more kind of live sounding drums, yeah, and more into the electronic world. And then we dive deep into like like good use of like synthesizers and and like reverbs and delays, and like getting into like more sound yeah. like designing. But also I, live instruments, saxophone hits, yeah. dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, into it, dancer in the dark. I mean, two great songs that have exquisite saxophone solos on the end there. Thank you. What was the first song that got a saxophone? Uh, it was <laughs> uh-huh. in Dalians. I think was, it was uh, one of the demos. Yeah, you made absolutely. Uh, Hold your breath. That was me. That was me. That was yeah, 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 yeah. The first thing was a sample. Yeah, yeah. it was a sample. It was actually a saxophone sample. Yeah, I got and lazy. he could play it. We I got, could, I could just play lazy. It. Just got lazy, so I put a sample. But then after that, it's all it's all <laughs> everything's real though. Everything's yeah. real. everything. It was it was funny though. We would go through and we would always hear the same thing that we did in the hold your breath, and you'd hear it in I'd like play games sometimes and hear that same sample. People used it before. But then I guess that inspired like the to the use yeah. of it in future. Like we kept using, but Conan can play saxophone like it really well. Yeah, I don't know, maybe like a pro. Also, I guess like Aust- Australian bands. So many Australian bands have saxophone in them. Yeah, he had know? like In Excess. Yeah, which was like a, just watching like the documentaries was so inspiring. That's what made me pick up the uh, tenor because I was playing alto at on the mm. first. Tenor has a little bit more on the grit, first a little two bit more. EPs. I'm like, oh, I want to make it a bit grittier. Yeah, a little bit more, more tone. Depth. But I've, I've been noticing lately, like, it's hard to fit it into some of the new songs, but I've actually been thinking about it in a way where, like, there is a way to do it. There's I, always I, a way i, I got to change something. my style a little bit here and there. Change i got the to gotta work on that. Sounds great on the new song coming yeah. out. We, we, just, we just consistently just keep mixing and matching and finding what new ways to do things and make new sounds and keep stay progressive, stay... Keep people on their toes. With I, the, sorry, with the next single, too... Um, it, it was one of the first times where we made the song, but we didn't have the ending of it done yet. So that is where we actually added a brand new um, ending to it. And yeah. just kind of changed up the song. Which is really cool. Yeah. yeah. But it's because you had nothing that you had to figure something out? It yeah. was just instrumental. I mean, we could have just left it there. It yeah. would have been, like, people would have been fine with it. But Not we boring. wanted to make it a little more interesting. So what did yeah. you do? We just um, took it and uh, we, we kind of reworked it. And then... Mitchell did a good job reworking it. Adding a... Adding a of like his this vocal sample yeah, um, like that he created from different sounds that yeah. actually Female. just completely changed almost the I mean because the chord progression is the same but the actual melody is completely it changed, changed the song yeah, yeah. It changed the whole the song like, changes emotion. at the end yeah. Yeah. kind of like Omami 
Umami. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh yeah. Um, 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 <laughs> How do you set yourself up to make a song? Like, do you have to be in a certain headspace? Because it's starting with only instrumental. Like, it's not mm. starting with a story. Like, or is it? Like, is it starting with the way you feel? It's just, it's just, uh, yeah, you just start make. you just got to sit down and do it. It's a rec- It starts as a recreational yeah. activity sometimes. Sometimes you'll be like, all right, I haven't made music in a while. i got to force myself to sit down and at least try, yeah. not like force a song because you can't force a song ever. I'd say um, U- Umami is probably one of the only ones where we were like, that's we want to make a song that's like Latin inspired. Yeah. You started that one. Yeah, yeah but you usually, made, like, the usually we, it's just like, you know, Mitch will be sitting there or I'll be sitting there and we'll, or clean and we'll just make a song and you're not intending like oh this song's gonna go on the album yeah just make a song and then you work it and you work it and you're like like mitchell will usually then just start singing some ideas and you can tell straight away you're yeah like, yeah go record like that. some some songs it's like i mean i remember for beauty and death we were like oh i listened to the demo the other the other night oh yeah yeah and like it's like me singing the chorus and i'm like there's no words and i sing the chorus and i'm like this yeah. song's yeah. so good yeah you can, yeah. like hear it in the recording yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Like, we kept in the recording like, this song's so good. Yeah, <laughs> we actually, we were, we were, um, I was with Seth in the room, and he, uh, who helps uh, with the mastering, uh, and he, him and I were sitting there like, oh, this is the demo. With the, he's not singing the real words. With the beauty and death. Yeah, we're all listening to him. Listen to it. Yeah. We like, oh, really? yeah. where, where was I? Was I? Had... We we're in our room, which is very loud. Yeah, the door open. Oh, listen to the demo. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. I thought I listened to it in the car, but Seth was wigging. He's like, this is not. What, is yeah, it? no, it was at <laughs> home, and I was like, yeah, I was like, this song's so good. Yeah. Yeah. This we I got we got so many demos even the like Aaliyah freestyles where yeah just the word there's just not really any words yet so then you then there's sometimes where you freestyle it and you'll add the words after so you so have melodies and then you'll you'll yeah yeah well I've been focusing more on uh, the mixing and uh, finessing side of things with vocals and uh, instru- like instrumental stuff adding a couple of little things here and there. Uh, these guys have actually taken over most of the production, like from like the beat, the beat making and stuff like that. But that being said, it's just because I'm so busy like with other stuff and you know. Well, yeah, we finally had to take the over. video. Yeah. The Amari <laughs> video we produced and <laughs> yeah, you directed it, it yourself and then edited, edited it. it. Yeah. Crazy. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but I've actually just started in my free time, like just trying to produce again, like from scratch it and see if I can come up. It's been a hot minute. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. Christian and I have been producing the instrumentals yeah. for. But I want to give these guys something to work on, and then yeah. we can collaborate on it too. So. I want to get into the directing for a second, but you mentioned that it's a Latin-inspired song. You guys speak Spanish on it. Does that feel natural or unnatural? I had to Google. Out? I had to Google <laughs> to find the right syllable. I had to, and I had to also had to listen to the way it was pronu- enunciated well, like, he, correctly. Christian speaks a tiny bit of Spanish. I, not, not really. My my girlfriend's Spanish. She's from Spain, God, so yeah. she helped help me out. And we actually we've been going to this shout out Sugar Taco. We'd be going there, and <laughs> they constantly play like the top forty like Latin America songs. Yeah. And I, you know, I could, you pick up some words. I have, like, I had heard uh, Bad Bunny constantly saying to Curtis. And I started ask, kept asking Casilda what that <laughs> meant. <laughs> again? And to, he just says, like, to Curtis, to Curtis or something. And then, the, you know, the beats, were the, the, we just wanted to, we, we kind of started it because the, it's almost got like an Afro swing to it. Um, the top 40 or the Bad Bunny, like the, t- k- t- k- yeah, <laughs> it's, it's all, and yeah, we'd, very, yeah. I remember starting the song and having that beat and Mitchell coming in, he's like, no, 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 no. He's like, don't do that. Keep it. Keep it straight, straight yeah. cooler. Yeah. And like, yeah. he's like, we don't want it to be too much like that. And then that's really how you get that straight beat sounding. We're just inspired by yeah, the music. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. Like those. It's so, it's so unformal, like the way we make music. Yeah. There's no, there's no real process to it. There's no like sit down. All right, this is how we're going to do it. We don't approach it with a, with a strategy whatsoever. Would you like there to be a process? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. If no. I say just, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's yeah. why we, we just get keep doing what we're doing i mean we've made so many instrumentals as well we have so many sitting around that we still mm. use but we like forget about them because you start making more we get ahead of ourselves also once you start to do the same thing over and over again you start to create the same art over and over again yeah. you're not doing you're, like we're talking about um in a couple of days going to a different spot to just go there and write you know yeah. so just changing up every time sometimes we go to a forest to write lyrics so like, get to finish up song. yeah and you're writing to instrumentals that are already done yeah yeah, yeah. How do you guys decide, like, if, if you're going to rap or you're going to sing, like, does that come naturally? Yeah. yeah. Just, there's no discussions. Really. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> it's I mean, just a natural thing. I'll, yeah. I'll usually just ask if I if I, it's a song that I think I, I could... Obviously, Mitchell writes the choruses. Yeah. Mitchell will always start the first verse. Like, the song ideas, lyrically-wise, will start with Mitchell. For next song, you start first verse uh, Yeah, again. okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. But you did a gravity. We'll do it, yeah. We'll do and it that's again. our biggest hit. No one knows. And that's our <laughs> biggest hit. I'm singing all the choruses. Like, yeah. no one's known this. I just pretend Mitchell's singing it. It's actually me. It's yeah, just, no, it's, it's good because... um, And then Christian will have a lot of ideas that he gives to me that, like, uh, like 
the um like fifty instrumentals that are really good, but like they're not they're fully not one hundred percent finished. Yeah, which he'll and then, then so like finesse. I'll add in and then like I'll keep like a a second verse open so make sure Crass can sing yeah. it. You know what I mean? And yeah. Then, but sometimes he'll be like rapping, kind of singing. Sometimes I'll just rap and, and then I'll be like, look. Maybe we put a melody there a bit more over the I've top never of once that. rapped. Yeah. I've never once rapped. It's like rapping. singing. Sing yeah. rapping. I th- like Ed oh, he'll do of. melodies as like well. Ed and you just can just kind of be like, like I love, he used to. I love like he used to. <laughs> you could have picked any artist like Travis Scott. Like. <laughs> Ed Sheeran. When I think Ed Sheeran, I think of you. <laughs> Damn it. Damn I mean, it's, 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 I'll take the compliment, but. Uh, Tra- Travis Scott. What's the more? So. Are you writing when you do write from your own life or what? Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Have to like it's you it, can exaggerate and and expand on on stories that um that you know what I mean it's, it's storytelling, it's music, yeah. it's, it's art. Are the emotions that you're writing about or the stories that you're writing about in the lyrics connected at all to the instrumental that you started with? Yes, absolutely. I'd say like 70% of the songs um the chorus like has the words which the instrumental was called. Yeah, you that's know very I mean? true. Incorporates it. It's like or, when you see colors. Yeah. when you listen yeah. to music. So we have we named the instrumentals like we had to stop naming them poo poo and yeah and like we used to poo poo stupidest names then because then you can't remember how, well, how the instrumental goes. So like we <laughs> yeah. if you save it you have to like babies. find a word yeah. like or two key words that yeah. make that the, that the and instrumental evokes from you and then you like you, some of the yeah. new ones was like rampage. Yeah. We haven't actually written that one yet, but uh, escort like, was called yeah. escort. I used to get the stems and just be like. <clears throat> yeah. What the heck, what the heck is here? this? This is a weird file name. Yeah. Oh, it would be like Alice. Well, I think I'm lost Sandy. again. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then um, Please yeah. Stand By actually was called Crip Walking, walking Through a funeral, funeral. And then and that's Dwayne. what Dwayne said. Yeah. <laughs> Crip Walking Through a Funeral. Yeah. He said Papa Crip Walking Through a Funeral. Wow. Yeah, Dwayne lyric. It's just the, the the style of the song was really like really flowy like that. And Dwayne just, again, always understands the yeah. project. He knows what to, he kills it. I think it's important to, that's why it's important to kind of name the song of how you feel. Like, I think I'm Lost Again was the name of the instrumental and then we just called the whole song. I think I'm Lost Again. So also why we're not seeking out actively features. It's like, let it come to you if they want to be part of it and if they can be a style like, that fits what we're doing. Um, yeah, we're not like, actively seeking out features. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know? Uh, you said a song was your biggest hit. I blanked out on the name of it, but do you Gra- believe that? Oh, no, no, <laughs> gravity. Bo- gravity yeah, is like, like, gravity is big. Big. Well, I have <laughs> other songs that I thought no. were your were bigger hits. No, no, gravity. It's because because I started that one. <laughs> it's, it's, our big, it's our biggest hit. Yeah, Tristan no, no, no. started the verse, and um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm it's I'm got a, it's got a billion streams. I think one, a, two two billion. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's two billion. <laughs> Actually, the he got lucky, pal. <laughs> What's your biggest hit? Is it Friends? Yeah, it, oh, we, it's about to get surpassed, though. I think. Do we cut I agree. at any point? Is this like <laughs> we could continuous. This is continuous. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, there you go. We can end <laughs> it. <up. laughs> is, is it live? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Good. 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 Um. Well, tomorrow we hit the one billion club for Spotify. Oh, congratulations! Congratulations! Thank you. Yeah. So maybe much. by the time this is out, we'll I mean, have a billion. Yeah, that's huge. I think uh, either tomorrow or the day after will be the billion club. And we got so. we got a million we'll that three days ago. Million subscribers. Yeah, yeah, we got, got the gold plot uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah. Oh, Mazel tov. Thank you. Thank you. Do you? I mean, how do you measure success? Do you have pillars of success that you're looking to hit? Um, it's you can't measure. I got a It's hard to measure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a programmer, a software programmer, yeah. and I measure it. You have a spreadsheet. Yeah, it's yeah. analytics <laughs> that it, it all needs to hit. <laughs> no, I think we have like ex- like super high expectations. <laughs> I think the best thing is to not have expectations. Yeah. That's how you measure success. Is to just let it happen naturally, and then you can reflect and be like, "Okay, that's successful." It's also hard as well because once you get to the next step, you just want to get even bigger than that. So yeah, even like we were talking Wanna before about music. Umami, you know, breaking all of our records, and then you know you might release the next song. It still might do so much better than the other ones, but it might not do it as well as Umami. Yeah. And then we might be like, "Oh, dang it!" But, but that if you take a step yeah. back right. and you go look at how it was last year, mm-hmm. and exactly. still how much of a big jump it is. Yeah. That's when you're taking your step back to appreciate this, this success. But yeah, it's always, it's the musician's curse. You always want to get the next Striving, high. yeah. You always need to get the next fix. You don't want to play bigger shows. Yeah. You can't just be like, I'm happy yeah. with this. It happens yeah. slowly though. I think that over time it yeah. has to happen slowly for you to actually be grateful for it. Mm-hmm. If it happens too quickly, I think you can get complacent. And then if you start trying to outdo yourself with songs, you say one song doesn't do as good as the other one. It's not down to that, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's like an album, say... You might have a favorite song on an album, but it's not the most popular song on the album. It's up, you just have to let it happen and not let it worry you because 
in the end, it's going to still all grow. And then maybe yeah. the, a and few it, songs after that, it'll be like even a bigger song. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Also, the, when you look at it every day, you're around the numbers every day pretty much. It, You feel like you haven't really grown at all. You're like, oh, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, if you're looking at the numbers too much, then you're, you're getting your head about it. So it's important to just let also, it Also, it would be nice happen. to be recognized more by like, you know, some of the bigger like uh, Apple music playlists and Spotify yeah. playlists. But I think they're a little bit... Um, Scared of us. <laughs> not, yeah, not scared, but like... Why, they, like it's a tough one like we're on the verge of getting to that level where they can trust us but like yeah but you have 7 million monthly listeners right now yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's and they uh, they give playlist support to way smaller artists and, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it well, might be a fear of not being able to categorize you in that's, a exactly, that's what I, exactly what it is not we're being told, able though. to put a, a genre yeah, Not because be a lot of people think what I organically said to you, which is like, oh, yeah, like they're pop punk, yeah, they're yeah. punk rock, <laughs> yeah. or whatever. I thought you guys were just like more hip hop leaning. Like, yeah, yeah, I think we, of Post Malone, exactly, I think yeah, 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 you exactly, guys. Yeah, I, I 100%. Think, yeah. I think it's the whole band thing that gets that gets confusing um, because we are a band, but like I like to think of us as an artist, you yeah. know what I mean? As a collective artist. Well, in and, and like, so if you go to the R&B side or you go to the hip hop side, or you go the mainstream lane, which yeah. you know, like you categorize yourself as like not pop, but like yeah, we do a bit of we we, we do a bit of everything. But R and B like is pop. Post Malone is pop. Exactly. You know, Travis is pop. Exactly. But it's a harder game to play because like even those big songs still have hooks to them. You know. Yeah, so, yeah that's yeah. the whole thing. We we've had like so many discussions about this. Is like it's more about hooks these days rather than big choruses. Mm. And so as long as you have a a good hook and like some good lyrical content and the whole reason like. We work so hard on instrumental. You have a good instrumental. That's that, that's the it's most like critical thing. Back to the Future when Marty goes on stage and plays a guitar solo. <laughs> when he goes back in time. Oh yeah, this is why. And I'm everyone goes quiet, yeah. and, he, and he's just like, "You, you, you know, guys so aren't ready for this music yet, but your kids will enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> your kids are gonna love it." Yeah. yeah, I definitely. I feel exactly what you said. I actually wrote down in an interview thing yesterday. They said, apparently, I've been quoted saying that major labels. Um, Scared. Are scared of us. I don't, but I mean, just the music industry as a whole, I don't yeah. think it's a major label issue. If anything, one of the most open minds I've ever seen towards Chase Atlantic was, I can't remember his name, but he was Warner Brothers and he just sat there. He Michael? was, oh, no, not oh, Michael. Oh, no, it was Bacardi. that one guy. He, was the, he, yeah, he yeah, wasn't yeah. there uh, for when we did the album, but he just listened to the whole thing. And at the time, you know, we we was quite abstract and he just fully understood it straight away. So I don't really think it's a major label issue. Yeah. I, I think, think it's a, um, I think it's just the music industry and and art as a whole. People are scared of something that they can't really control. Or well, put shout it. out Fearless. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they took the step in mm -hmm. you know yeah, signing a band that's not necessarily part of their like usual yeah. roster. Yeah, no, yeah, which was but really they were awesome. Fearless. They took the risk. Yeah, and that was very fearless of and them. Very fearless of them. Thank you very much. Yeah, but it's also paying off in a big way. Yeah, uh, Beauty and Death is a great album. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Uh, it, Obviously, there is beauty in death, but who's yes. the first one to realize that? And what song comes first? Um, be, uh, as in, like, which song comes first? Well, well, who realizes first that there is beauty in death and then brings it to the group of, like, hey? Oh, um, I, I guess, do you know you that, like, when somebody it? dies, it's... Mitchell, if Mitchell wrote the song Beauty I, and Death yeah, first before I, I we decided... I didn't write it, though. Like, I remember that was literally after you made the instrument, I was singing... Um, I was singing the chorus, and then we just I just sang Beauty and Death, and then yeah. we stuck with it, and then afterwards we realized we it had a lot elaborate. of deep I mean, Because everything comes subconsciously, I feel, in music. It doesn't mm -hmm. come out of nowhere. It can't come out of nowhere, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you have to subconsciously have that in your brain already. Yeah. So, like, Beauty and Death is, 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 is a silver lining, really. It's basically just a silver lining. It's finding the good in the bad. It's, it's, it's about... It's about um, do progressing brings it brings people together you know what i mean it's do the about, flower analogy yeah like yeah. a flower withers away and then it grows back and yeah a new life is born yeah a new life is born also, from death. like animals die they put the yeah. they, they decay into the into the earth and then also, plants grow. how beautiful is like God. a dead leaf you know you'd see the skeletons of the yeah, dead leaf exactly it's makes so cool me cry life, yeah man. and then leaf. Yeah. we also I'm had vegan, there's, so a, lot of, dead leaf there's a lot of different upset. reasons like when someone passed away in, in a fa with a family and the family members haven't been close and then they get close because of yeah a certain yeah. event or a yeah. passing away it's yeah just the year where mortality and still i guess where mortality and you know even the concepts of death was really in your face yeah, the whole the every time you put on the mm -hmm. news you know and it's still it's still like that now um just trying to find the trying beauty to find in it and trying to find yeah. you know trying to benefit or better yourself in the chance that you had in lockdown that kind of thing instead of mm -hmm. spiraling i guess it was just trying to find the beauty in any of it yeah and that is kind exactly. of what life's about because a lot of a lot of a lot of like things happened during like 2020 oh yeah a lot of still, everyone the whole things then, like, are happening now well, too yeah 
And um, yeah, it's, it just gave us a perspective, like get introspective and kind of find the silver lining for everything, really. Does that song start the album or what songs? No, it's, it's, it's like midway Paranoid. through. Paranoid actually does. Yeah. We just love the name of the, the song, match the whole. And it, it really it, it, it really just like, it was a no-brainer, really. Yeah. And if you, another thing which was subconscious, which I guess you kind of figured out after, but Paranoid, um, if you listen to the lyrics and then you put that to the last song, Wasted, it's like two different um, perspectives on the same similar kind of situation. Yeah, one's, one's uplifting. Like, yeah. And, yeah, the first same. one's like, like bad. I'm paranoid yeah. about like, here we go, we're entering this, we're not sure what's going to happen. And then by the end of, of the roller coaster ride, that is with our 2020, yeah. it's you kind of, it. yeah. Waste. And yeah, because like back to the starts back like, to the start. it starts yeah. like sad and then it's like, put, it devil put a gun in my head and miss. And it's like, well, go miss me, let's go. Like, who cares? If I'm not dead, then this... this Keep keep living life. No need to be sad about it. It's really interesting that did, did you know you were writing about the year that we were going through while you were absolutely, doing it? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Because not at first, really. That's all we had. That's all, that's all we had. The, you know what I mean? Like we but, started the album then before COVID. Did we? Yeah. Mm, yeah, we had remember. a couple of demos and like stuff like that. But did we? I guess we had demos, yeah. but yeah, yeah, we did we, nothing. No, for, but no then we halted. Remember? No yeah. real lyrics. Yeah. That happened. And